what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful if you're new to this channel do me a favor smash the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together so guys i'm here in the smart showroom to show you one of the new smart vehicles for 2024 that has been released that is already on the road so stay with me let's do a walk around of this vehicle All right, guys, so this is a smart number three. So the cars are numbered smart one, smart two, and this is a new smart one, which is kind of like a, a box-ish box version of the smart, but this is a newly released smart number three, or sm yeah, smart number three. Uh, let's start looking at this car from the front. So this is uh, the front view of the vehicle, and you might think this is a Raider, but it is not, it's just a design. It's just part of the design of the front grille and as we move up you will see uh, the smart logo here and looking at the headlamps you have LED all around so really nice design of LEDs and down here you have this real not fake air through air sort of inlet you have your parking sensors all around in the front and you have an uh, LED daytime running light running all the way from the front uh, across the front of the vehicle and then on this left side as well you have your headlamps of course and this doesn't open so it's just a design it's part of a design of the bonnet but it makes it look really cool obviously there's not an engine so there is no need to have any wind going into the vehicle now moving on to the side, let's take a look at the wheels real quick. So we got Dunlop tires. It comes with 20, 245, 45 rim, 19 tires. I don't know how it's going to feel on the road. I don't know if it's going to be bumpy with this size of tires for this size of car, but it's all about the engineering. If the suspension is well made, then it's going to give you a very nice comfortable solid ride and you have these really nice wheel covers they are not they don't look, feel like plastic they feel like some metal that's really really good now we're moving on to the side you have the smart logo on the side I don't think it doubles us anything like light or whatever but yeah if we look at the just under the mirror there's a camera here these days all the cars are becoming very very similar you have your blind spot monitor here right on the window which is really really cool we'll just go around the vehicle before we come back and look at the interior so down there you have some nice red uh, trim right there inscribed 25th 25th anniversary edition of the smart so those who know this vehicle smart used to be a very tiny vehicle but they have graduated to making bigger cars kind of like many SUVs here in China at least it might be in some other markets as well and if you look at it it's a joint venture between Mercedes-Benz and Geely Geely is the same company that owns Zika and the same company that owns or um, manufactures or makes Volvo cars so their quality is quite up there now and you have the rear part so this is your uh, charging you press to open and you have your slow and fast charging ports you have your illuminated logo there which I believe might blink when you're charging and to close it you just press it I like that I don't I'm not really a fan of all those smart openings if something fails then you have to you have trouble so yeah looking at the rear part of the vehicle it looks quite smart have the tail lights look from here all the way and integrated with daytime running lights all the way to the other side of the vehicle and it's got this really nice rear spoiler and you have your windshield wiper which is 
of a really nice size i wouldn't i would say the rev, rear view rear mirror rear glass is quite is sizable enough and if we go down you have some nice reflectors integrated they've integrated the reverse lights in there and another reverse light here nicely hidden got your parking sensors and they've got a camera here reversing camera and for other purposes so overall a really nice and smart design on the back I find it interesting saying smart because the whole car is smart now one smart issue one smart feature to open the bonnet is if you look here you're going to wonder where am i going to open the bonnet from but it's integrated in the middle of the a so you press that and the the car opens i think it's smart it's very very neat it makes it look really clean so until you tell someone how it works they're not going to know it's not really a good thing but i mean it's it's a really nice feature and it has an okay size okay size boot for this size of vehicle i would say you would easily fit like two big suitcases and maybe two smaller suitcases and some other items tucked away in corners and if you want more space when you lift this false floor you're gonna see extra space here and you can actually move this false floor downwards and you have another flat space un underneath so it is a really really big boot space and i think they did a really good job with the boot it's also got this parcel shelf that you can pull to cover if you need to now let's close the boot so you press to shut it and moving on to the right side it's not going to be different from the left side and so that is it for the external part of this vehicle now let's get into the car and see what the inside looks like I'm just going to start here so to open this car you press this right part and then you pull from here there is actually a very nice space made for your hand to hold unlike other cars where it's, it's a bit fidgety so this one is done really nicely and then you have your wind you have your window glasses it looks double glazed but you cannot really see um, it's a very thick glass one believe I'm tempted to believe it's double glazed then you have your door opening quite wide and you have your door handles to open and close to open your 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 door you have some really nice metal has very very smooth operation sort of metal button for opening your doors and this car comes all around with beats speakers which sound really really good in a minute i will turn them on so we can hear how it sounds but to get in you've got this smart illuminated logo here as well which is really cool and one neat feature is the door goes all the way down and covers most part of the under part of the vehicle so when you get in and out in bad weather you're not gonna dirty your clothes and you can see the interior it has an almost completely flat floor so even though it's a small, it's small car there's enough space for passengers feet and it's got this really nice two-tone white and black with some red stitching seats and this one comes with red seat belts as well with isofix anchor points so but the middle seat is quite small but because it's almost completely flat it should be not too comfortable but quite comfortable for a rear seating passenger and if you look at the top it is a completely um it's it's a complete panoramic sunroof and you can see it's quite high let me just step into the vehicle so when i step into the smart i'm 183 centimeters tall but you can see i still got about a fist of space between my head and the roof so that's really cool and i feel quite comfortable in this car it's not too tight although it is a small car because the top part of the vehicle has been carved really nicely so it makes it let me turn on the lights here so it makes it quite comfortable to to sit and i wouldn't say i, I think it's nice this two-tone white and black is beautifully done if that is your thing
And let's look at the view of the rear passenger. So with 183 centimeters height with the seats, the front seat in my seating position, I still have a bit more space. And under the, there's not enough space under the seat to push my feet, but can go, my toes can get in there a little bit. And um, the seat is also quite raised a bit higher. So my legs are not hanging like in other cars, which is really, really cool. And overall, I like the design of the seat. You can, there's actually an inlet here to allow some airflow. Have a little space to look in front of you and you got another logo here from smart you got airbags on the seats to ensure that passengers don't collide front passengers don't collide in the case of an emergency and overall i think the interior has been done quite nicely you got some air vents which is really nice for the rear passengers and you got uh type a old school uh type a old school charging port and a type c right here so whichever one you have i don't like those cars that provide only type c some people are still old school and they still have type a so it is nice that they still keep at least one for uh, people who don't have those features and there are some nice standard grab handles here as well with the interior very nice material used for the interior now let's hop in the front passenger seat So with the driver's part, the front part, you push it in, it's touch sensitive, this pops out and you just pull it like that. I think it's nicely, nicely done. And that is your door, opens quite wide to get in the car. And again, your illuminated smart logo with your seat controls on the side. And if we just sit in there, so yeah, even though it's not my ideal seating position when i just move it back a little bit my legs are fine this is not a kind of car that i can use as a daily driver with my height but it is a really nice car for someone who doesn't want anything too fancy and it's not very tall so you have a very big glove box i should say very use usable and you have your beats speaker grills here you have your events right here conveniently placed and this is the dash that you have it's a very simple design with this sort of I'm not sure if it's plastic or feels like plastic with some kind of soft material here with all this illumination right here so with some red accents all around the vehicle now so you get one vent here you got three vents over there uh, right under the the screen so the screen is kind of an ipad maybe 13 inch 12 13 inch size screen which comes with many features but it's very colorful and has all these graphics which makes it look very very modern kind of like using a tablet or a phone now let's see what's beneath here so you press this to expose a uh, charging part for your mobile phone to type c charging ports that's really nice and if you don't need it you just close it off very 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 tactile as well and nicely dumped and if you look here there is another compartment here you pull to reveal a small sort of compartment for maybe a phone or a notebook or a card or something and you have two cup holders here one big one small nicely done and if you look here you have a center console press this button to open and you got in here and it says charging card i'm not sure what charging card means maybe for some other papers and you have this here looks like you can freeze things because it's got a snowflake button so you can twist it to open and to close so i believe it's to let cool air in to cool your drinks or whatever you might have with you and it's quite dark in here but it's quite dark in here but if you look here this is a very very deep it's actually up to yeah it's quite quite deep so yeah you can so st store a lot of goodies on your way maybe with some mini bottles of water snacks and stuff like that all right so that is a view from the passenger seat and up here you have your sun visor with 
kind of like a vanity mirror which illuminates bright enough it is enough for the purpose and up here I believe is another speaker grill up here I believe is another speaker grill your SOS button your rear view camera and your your rear view mirror and a glasses holder interestingly so yeah for those chic sunny days when you just want to flex in your in your smart let's move on to the driver's seat so stepping in the driver's seat same thing you push it out touch sensitive you open and again you have a very wide opening and over here you have four buttons for your window controls lock and unlock the vehicle and then you have some really nice door pockets N nothing intrusive they're not lined with felt or anything but it is a really really nice size and before you get into the vehicle this is what you're seeing as a driver let's just take a look at this so now in the driver's seat you got another sun visor of course with your light there to illum illuminate your face and from the driver's seat you get the screen and you get your steering wheel so the steering wheel is of a, a very nice size i would say it fits perfectly with the size of this car which is really really nice this car being a collaboration between mercedes-benz and Geely, you can see some kind of uh, mercedes-benz vibe with the steering wheel and so also the choice of material for these controls here and uh, you have your controls right at your fingertips for various functions and there's a dedicated button here for wechat those who might not know wechat wechat is a it's an instant messaging app just like whatsapp more widely used in china so uh, there's a dedicated button for wechat as well which is really really cool and you have a small screen here for purposes like checking your fatigue level and things like that and you also have a small screen integrated into the dash to give you your basic controls whilst you are driving this car so this car has quite a bit of range so real world is about 450 kilometers at least so right now it's 82 percent charge and it's telling us we can go 476 kilometers of course it depends on your driving style and the temperature the weather but yeah it means it gives you a really nice range similar to what some big cars are offering and down here you have down under the center console you have this large space here for other uh, other uh, storage purposes and you have a 12 volt socket down here very easily accessible which is really really nice and you have your buttons for 10 signals which is really nice feels solid and tactile and I, I like the sound that it makes you can't miss it when your turn signals are on but it has a really nice sound to it take a listen I think it plays through the sound plays through these speakers so even if you're not looking at the screen you're focusing on the road you're definitely going to know that your turn signals are on and so this will provide you with all the basic information you need as a driver and it also has an HUD heads up display so if you look here carefully you can see the purple the, the orange here indicates that the door is open and your speed is right there I don't know what other information will be populated on the windshield when you're driving but you get an HUD right there you don't have to take your 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 eyes off the road and you've got your just like most cars these days you've got the drive selector right here reverse neutral drive and you press this inside for parking so let's quickly do a sound check of the sound system or the quality of the beat speakers that have been installed in this vehicle
really really nice bass there and very clear sound as well kudos to beats and Jilly for putting it in the smart number three so yeah overall that is the smart number three or smart three whatever way you, whichever way you want to call it and I think it looks really really nice someone might want to know if this car has a front trunk or a frunk as it's called in the industry so opening the bonnet gives it a very wide opening with some gas struts so you don't have to stress looking for something to hook it up and here basically you have all your fluids and you have windshield washer fluid and down here there is this small box where which opens to this size of space very very tiny I don't know what you can fit in there maybe just a few tools or a very very small a bag or something like that but this is all the space you get in the in the front so it's not really I think it's just going to take your charging cables and that's it you won't have anything else to to fit in there so yeah this is what you get with the bonnet of the smart 3 all right guys so that was a quick walk around of the smart 3 newly released for 2024 from the Geely company so smart used to be a tiny car but it now is growing in size by the year all right guys thank you so much for watching for sticking around i'm truly grateful if you are new to this channel do me a favor smash the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video and i'll get back to you soon with another video thank you once again see you in the next video ride legal ride safe always peace and i'm out